Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute, and what they're up to. Yeah, th this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh... Just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And. Got it. Hold on to your butt. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's, it's me. I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening?
Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your mother. T to talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... As you are a parent to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, 
After discovering records from Vault 111, an infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director, why you? I was the most qualified for the position, obviously. I've lived my life within these walls, dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. 
Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be more than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself, a chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Almost done. I just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's a hey, Doc. Oh, they weren't I kidding. don't know. You really Most are. Most of here. them have lasted well, long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, you can think of me as the well. Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Curious. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war our progenitors took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. All systems nominal.
We're all looking forward to working with you. No visible reaction to the K-14 coming. You'll start in the last joint. But those are going to be as large as this time. And the side effects will fight you. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. I wish you could have known Father as we have. You could return to your duties and remember to remember my son. I hope I'll prove a useful to you. We are honored to welcome you here. Targeting package You're upgrades here. I asked for. Glad you Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Hello, please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us Doc. and pretty much so, all the other departments. Here you are. Justin Ao, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in coarser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. If you're the acting head of the SRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high-profile units. In his absence, I keep things running smoothly. The Directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. She's been here for over two hours. What is she even asking? 
Doctor. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A Courser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our Coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, and now you, to get in and out at will. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. been reviewing father's doctor I wonder how the war family is doing so good to have you here Young dr clayton holder years old by now. head of the bioscience it's department all that i can't wait for you to see the work so we're doing there don't you think it's truly amazing like what i was just about to explain that as the name implies the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany genetics and medicine our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are synths too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is, but I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm an outsider. Would there even be a place for me here? Even if science isn't your passion, there are plenty of ways to contribute. Our projects sometimes require an agent who can work on the surface to observe and gather information. From what I've heard, you are both fearless and resourceful. I think you'd be ideal for that kind of role. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Is there anything I can do to help out? There might be. Tell you what, you get settled in and check back with me later. I'll see what I can find out.
Moving to report, ma'am. Good to see you. 